I think one of the really interesting facts about your career in WWE is you were Eddie Guerrero's last match. And I don't know if, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people obviously remember you know, the shocking news when he passed, but a lot of people don't remember, you know, what happened before that. What are your memories of that last match with Eddie? Um, I remember, I remember him telling me to calm down in the beginning. There was some, we did some chain wrestling. I remember I was scrambling to get to the ropes quickly to break. And I remember him telling me like, just calm down. Like you don't have to go so quickly there. Um, and then I remember he, in the, we were talking through the match. I'm supposed to hit him with the chair at the end. And I remember he said like, bring it, like hit me with it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to hit you with it. And then I hit him with it and we got backstage and he was like, maybe a little too much. <laughs> like, um, but, uh, then we went out to dinner that night. I was riding, I was actually riding with him and him and Benoit at the time when we went to a steakhouse and I remember they were talking because the next week after it was like a super show in Minneapolis, it was raw and SmackDown. I'm not sure if ECW was around at the time yet, but it was going to be raw, raw and SmackDown uh, super show. And then we were heading to the airport. We were going to fly out and do my first international tour. They were like, you know, you're going to get, they're going to mess with you. They're going to shave your eyebrows while you're sleeping, you know, stuff like that. To, um, get me all riled up for the, and then I remember I pulled into the arena and the guy that parks the cars that helps park, park all the vehicles told me, he's, just, he's like, Eddie died. And uh, I walked into the building and it was just like this crazy sick feeling that everybody had all day. Everybody was super somber, and sad. It was, uh, it was a crazy, crazy day. I feel like it, you know, it was just must have been such a whirlwind of everything that was going on. And then the show still ends up going on. Yeah. And I, I will say that with all of the death that I have personally, like people that I've known, even if it was just briefly, um, people that I've known that have passed away in this business in the last 23 years since I started yeah. has really sort of um, it almost like deadens you to, to the, you know, when I hear of somebody dying, it's like, that's too bad. You know, like, I hate that I feel that way. Um, and I don't, it's not like I don't care. It's just, we've experienced so much of it. That, uh, I don't I don't know what that is. I've never gone to a, a wrestler funeral either. I've never, never. done that. Whose death do you think hits you the hardest? Um, it's probably Shad. Um, just because of like the way that it happened and yeah. what he did. It's a good dude. I remember reading that story and I had tears rolling down my face. I, I just texted Chad, Chad like a few weeks before that we were supposed to do an interview. And I'm reading this story, obviously saddened that he passed away. But then like the, the fact that he sacrificed his own life for his son's life, it's just, I, that just tells you how special of a person he was. Yeah, it's, and, and we all hope that we would do that. in that moment, but he did. Yeah. Sorry. No, I've, I'm sorry for bringing it up. <laughs> no. no, it's okay. I mean, I think it's good to talk about it. Like, I, it was, it's real. It was, it was so nice to see WWE honor him this year because so often when someone leaves the company, it's like, you know, you're, you're gone and forgotten. And it was so nice that it was like, you're, you're still remembered and we want to acknowledge you for this incredible act of heroism. Yeah, it was really, it was really something else to see. Yeah, you, you're right. Normally everybody, you know, if somebody dies, they get a rip at the beginning of Raw. Um, 
But uh, yeah, that was pretty special. It really was. But to have his son and his wife there, 